What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today, Zer is on Titan. We're going to take a look at what he's got. I'll got, give you guys some recommendations as well. Uh, Trials of Osiris has actually been postponed for the next two weeks. It will not be coming back till November uh, because players have found a way to use a specific emote to glitch out of the uh, playable space in Crucible map. So Bungie has decided to just postpone Trials for the next two weeks, which is a bit of a bummer. So Zer and the Prestige Mode Raid are your endgame content. Sorry, Trials players. Make Zer last as much as you can. Maybe maybe buy one thing this today. Come back Saturday, buy another thing. Come back on Sunday, buy another thing. But, you know, make Zer last because he's our weekend content. Uh, he's really good this week, though. Sweet Business is a dope exotic. One of my favorite exotics in the game. If you miss Heavy Machine Guns from Destiny 1... Uh, Sweet Business is about as close as you're going to get in Destiny 2 right now. It's a very fun and very cool exotic. Uh, its main perk is Payday. Large magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip. So it's got a 100-round magazine or a 99-round magazine, and it really does feel like it fires for a very long time compared to other auto rifles. It does have a spin-up time, though. So for the first two, three, four seconds, it's firing at a slower fire rate, it warms up and then hits its max fire rate and then sustains that max fire rate for the rest of the magazine. If you combine this on a Titan with the Actium War Rig, it's a very lethal combo in PvE. What it allows you to do is fire about 160, 170 rounds without ever reloading, which is just devastating against bosses, against Kallus in the raid. It's just a very nasty uh, auto rifle that really does feel exotic in PvE. Highly recommend getting this one for PvE. In PvP, this is a really fun gun to use. I don't think it's top of the meta, but if used correctly, it is very effective. You have to make sure you pre-fire this thing before you get into gunfights, but if you have this thing going at its max rate of fire, it does have a very fast time to kill, which means that it's very effective. Uh, but you really have to be selective about the gunfights you get in, and when you get in a gunfight, you've got to make sure you're pre-firing it because all things being equal, if you start firing this and your opponent starts firing basically any other gun at the same time, you're probably going to lose. Uh, so you really have to pre-fire this to get the max out of it in PvP. That being said, it's very fun to use and it's very good uh, with all those conditions having been met. Uh, definitely pick this one up for PvP uh, or for PvE and then try it out in PvP. It can be a lot of fun in PvP as well. Uh, next up for the Hunter, we got the Raiden Flux, a very good exotic. Synapse Junction's quick successive attacks with Arc Staff increase its damage output and duration. So when you pop your Arc Staff, uh, as long as you keep doing attacks with it, your damage output gets higher and the duration that the super is active gets longer. This is really good in PvE. In PvP, not quite as useful. I think there's better exotics to use in PvP, but in PvE, this thing is devastating. You can take out a whole mob, then start working on the boss, or you can just work on the boss. You can take a ton of damage off on a boss when you're using the Raiden Flux with the Arc Staff. It is a devastating exotic in PvP, or PvE, sorry, uh, and definitely worth picking up. I don't, I don't love it in PvP, but, you know, to each their own. The, the format of PvP right now with only four Guardians on the other team, um, if they're all together, then you probably don't need this. If they're separated, it, you might not be able to get those quick successive attacks to really make it worth it um, because you're only getting one attack on each Guardian. So uh, in PvP, it doesn't seem that great. In PvE, though, uh, it's definitely worth using. It's very, very good. Uh, next up for the Titans, the Doomfang Pauldron is one of my favorite exotics to use with a Sentinel Titan. It's got Horns of Doom. Shield Bash Melee Kills Recharge Shield Throw. Melee Ability Kills Recharge Sentinel Shield Super. So the more melee ability kills you get, the faster you're going to recharge your super. But the real, the real perk on this is the Shield Bash Melee Kills Recharge the Shield Throw, which basically enables you to kind of ping pong between the two attacks on your super. You do a shoulder charge, then you throw a shield, then you do a shoulder charge, then you throw a shield. It allows you to get much, much more shield throws per super. In PvP, this can be great because you have to less frequently close the distance between you and your enemy to get the shield bash because you've got a shield throw ready to go, which is very useful. In PvE, it just feels like you are throwing 
yeah, I don't know. I feel like you can get four, five, six shield throws per super, which can be really, really useful. Uh, I really like this exotic. It's my favorite Sentinel Titan exotic by a, kind of a long shot. Definitely pick this one up if you have a Sentinel Titan. Next up for the Warlocks, we got the Winter's Guile, another really good exotic. Warlord Sigil, eliminating enemies with melee attacks, increases your melee damage. So as long as you are killing enemies with your melee attack, you just boom, 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 boom. Every time you do it, it stacks the damage up on your melee attack. And eventually, it can stack up to five times and you're doing massive, massive damage with just a regular melee attack. You can take a lot of the, like a yellow health bar enemy, you can take a lot of their health off with a fully charged melee attack. It's really an impressive exotic and it's very fun to use as well. Definitely pick up Winter's Guile for PvE. For PvP, again, I don't think it's a great exotic. You'd really have to be the kind of player who just gets right up in the middle of everything. Uh, and with Team Shining being the way it is, it's <laughs> survivability is gonna be an issue for you to really get Winter's Guile to work for you. In PvE though, no problem. It's a lot of fun to use. Definitely pick it up uh, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So that is Zur. Every one of these exotics I'd recommend picking up this week. They're very, very strong. Of course, there is no trials this weekend, so make Zur last. Try out the prestige mode, mode raid. It is a lot of fun. The loot isn't that great from the prestige mode. It's a little underwhelming. Uh, you can see I'm wearing some of it now. The legs and the arms are from the prestige mode raid. Uh, and they look pretty cool, but uh, that's about all you're going to get. You're going to get some shaders. You're going to get some uh, pieces of armor that kind of glow with this purplish glow. They look pretty good, but no no new weapons. No Nothing special like that. You get the aura as well if you complete it. Um, so... Trials players are a little bit bummed out this week. Make Zer last. Do a prestige mode raid. See if you can get some friends through that. Uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.